So what are comments in Java and how can you use them as a beginner? In this video, I'll be answering those two questions as well as giving you some tips and tricks for how to use comments in Java. What's up guys, my name's Alex. Welcome back to another video on Java for Beginners. On this channel, I do a lot of easy coding tutorials just like this one, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. In the last video, we learned how to put text to the screen in two ways. I'm gonna delete our code from last time and just start fresh. We could output text and go to the next line by typing this. And then we'll have B as a second one. Save, run, and we have it going to the next line. Or we could remove this LN because LN stands for line. And we could just have it output the text and stay on the same line. So if I ran this, we have A and B on the same line. We found out it's called print because it's just like printing words on a piece of paper. Except in Java, we print words to the screen. And from now on, I'll be saying print instead of output text to the screen because they're the same thing, but print is faster to say. This is all from my previous video. So if you're interested in learning more about these pieces of code, I have a video explaining it on the screen now and also in a link in the description. So why did we learn how to output text in these two ways? We learned how to print on one line or multiple lines because it lets us control what we see when we run our program. Now let's take a step back. See when we press run, it seems to be only running whatever is in these two curly braces. We don't know what this does, we don't know what this does yet, but it seems that we can comfortably put our code in here and it'll work. And notice how we have our code to print the letter A here and our code to print the letter B here. But we also have this third line at the top that's also in between the two curly braces. And it seems to do nothing. And this was generated for us when we made our new Java file and it actually does nothing. This line right here has no meaning to the computer. It's just a note that's generated for us suggesting what we do. And then it's saying that it's auto-generated. And you can make a line do nothing like this by starting it off with two forward slashes. And this is called a comment. And it's called a comment because you can use it to make notes or comments to yourself when you're coding. So let's do an example. Let's, let's delete um, these comments right here and let's make our own. Write a comment by typing forward slash, forward slash, then make a note. And let's do another one. I use comments all the time to help me remember what my code does, but I also use it to disable lines of code that I don't need, but might want to keep handy for later. And let me show you what I mean. Let's space these out. Also, when you're coding, empty lines don't affect what the code does. So if I have the code to type ABC, here I'll just add another one real quick for C. If I have this code, if I decided I wanted to print 1, 2, 3 instead, I could copy this, paste it, and change it to what I want. If I no longer want these three lines of code, but want to keep them for later, if I forget how to code something or I've been working on it a long time, I can comment out each of these by typing that, those forward slashes from a few minutes ago. This turns these lines into comments and therefore disables them. So if we save and run this, we'll have one, two, three, but not ABC. Also, these two lines, again, don't do anything. When we uncomment these, by removing the two forward slashes at the beginning, save it and run it, we get both. So it's an easy way to disable and keep lines of code that you might wanna have handy. So let's try commenting out some random lines. Say, let's comment out this one and this printing out number three and let's disable B. Okay, save, run. Now it's printing two AC because one, three, and B are commented. And we'll just uncomment these back again. Revive them. If you want to uncomment or comment multiple lines at once, say you have like 50 lines of code, you don't want to type each one individually, um, you can highlight them all and then hit command forward slash or control forward slash on Windows. And that will comment all these for you. I'll have all the live shortcuts for what I'm using down below on the screen. So for fun, we can comment these out as well. You can save it and run it and nothing should show up, just like that. Or we can just uncomment these back, 
by using that same shortcut, command forward slash or control forward slash, and it'll work like we want it. Again, turning a line into comments by just typing those two forward slashes at the beginning of the line is really helpful for disabling a line of code that you want to keep for later. Now let's try to make a comment on five different lines. So let's say this is a list of comments. And that's great, it'll work, but if you want to comment on multiple lines, you can do this more easily in Java by typing forward slash star or asterisk. This will turn the current line into a comment, so I can type whatever I want. And then when you hit enter, it'll also comment these next lines for you. So you can type as many lines as you want, and they'll all be commented. It ends the comment by reversing the start, which was just star forward slash. And don't feel like you have to memorize all of this because I have links to the notes for these videos in the description. And those notes will include things like how to write comments both ways and also all the code I mentioned previously in my other videos. Let's clear, let's clear out all these comments and let's recap. You can disable a line of code by starting it off with two forward slashes. This turns it into a comment where you can either make notes to yourself or disable a line of code that you want to save for later. You can comment multiple lines by highlighting and pressing the shortcut. And you can also write a comment on multiple lines by starting it off with forward slash asterisk. The purpose of this video was to help you get comfortable with comments in Java because they're really useful. All the code and the notes for this video will be in a link in the description down below. Question of the day, are comments something you see yourself using in the future? And if you do, what for? Connect with me in the comments and feel free to engage with this community of new programmers. Make sure to subscribe so you'll see all my newest videos as soon as they come out. If this was helpful, smash that like button and share it if you think it might help someone you know. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I appreciate it. Catch you.